Hello everyone. So um, after chatting with you a little bit ago about the pros and cons of using the Freestyle Libra, I also wanted to show you how to change out the sensor. Um, it's super, super easy to do, very quick. Um, so I just wanted to show you how easy it actually is. So a couple of things to keep in mind. Once you change it out, you have one hour while it like fully sinks and gets itself all set. So if you can try to set it to like try to do it at a time when you know that you're going to be okay with having to do finger pricks for an hour. Um, quite honestly, I continue doing finger pricks um, probably three or four hours after like once it's activated even just to make sure that it's accurate. Um, the first couple of pricks is, are not or the first couple of scans are generally a little bit off, not terribly. But a little bit um, and I just keep doing finger pricks and scans until until they're like within five points um, so I want to be sure that it's completely accurate before I'm relying just on the scanner um, so just be aware of that that you're you're gonna have that window where you need to be able to do finger pricks so some people change it out right before bed and they let it sync itself up while they're sleeping that's an option um, I like to change my like I for me, it's midday right now, so I generally do my scan before lunchtime, <laughs> um, and then I change it out, and then, you know, I'm okay for that hour. I don't really need to check again um, for a little bit. Um, the other thing to, to consider is that if you have the app on your phone, you can leave your old scanner or your old sensor on and have two. Um, so that you can still, on your phone, scan the old sensor and scan the new sensor with your scanner um, while you have that hour gap. The only thing to, to take into consideration there is that once you hit that two week mark, like down to the minute from when you activated the old sensor, it will stop working on your phone. Um, there's no way to reactivate it. So if you're going to try to do that, have both of them kind of overlapping, you need to kind of plan that so that you do the new sensor at least an hour before the old one expires. Um, you cannot have more than one sensor hooked up to your scanner. So if you're gonna do it that way, you have to have the app on your phone. And something else to consider, it's not a big deal, just a consideration. If you have them too close together, they your phone is gonna pick up the new one instead of the old one. So it might be a good idea to do them on different arms if you're gonna do it that way. Just a thought. Um, so it has been two weeks for me now. I mean, you can see like the edges are getting a little, like it's coming off a little bit, like part of the adhesive around the edges, but not a lot. It's still on there very well. Um, two weeks, I mean, showered every day, obviously. Um, went swimming couple times um, you know been out in the Sun out in the heat uh, sunscreen whole nine yards um, but you can see I scanned and it tells me once you get down to the end like you're running out of time so mine says you have 53 minutes until your sensor expires so I'm just gonna hit ok it gives me my number um, I'm gonna turn it off now um, I'm not super concerned about having two on to make them overlap, so just, just gonna take the old one off. It's been two weeks and it took that much to get this sucker off. So just to show you, like this is what's in there, in your skin. And it's like, almost like a tiny little IV type tube. Very pliable. But like that sucker was on there, even after two weeks. <laughs> so they're not going anywhere. Um, so your new sensor is going to come in a box like this. They come in singles. Open it up. This is what you get inside. Applicator and the sensor itself. Um, and a couple of alcohol wipes. Um, so I'm going to use the old one. Or I'm sorry, use one to get a little bit off from the old one not gonna lie it doesn't all come off with an alcohol wipe I usually end up scraping at some of the leftover sticky it's okay all right so 
what you need to do is before you do anything else there's a number on here and a number on here it's like a serial number kind of thing you just got to check and make sure that they match um, and there's also an expiration date on both make sure that they match um, just because it won't properly activate the sensor if they're not the same I mean I've never had it where they're not so I wouldn't worry about it but just double check <laughs> um, and then once you open it up you can see there's a line right here and you can also see like that's what's in there it's a little I know it's a little creepy to look at and you're like oh my gosh but it's not bad um, so there you go there's your sensor um, so the line here needs to match up with the line here so you put it in like that and then I need to do it on the table I'm sorry so you put them in press down I'm all set now it's in there and then when you pull it out you can see it's all in there now everything I need um, so you're gonna take the spot take another wipe I usually just end up cleaning like half my arm because I'm not super exact with where I put it um, you kind of want it to be you don't want it to be too close to your armpit <laughs> just because then you're gonna rub on it and it's gonna make some of the edges lift a little um, and if you put it too far out, you're going to like catch on doorways and stuff like that, which is just annoying. Um, so kind of about where I had it, like down a little bit. I don't know, not terrible. Um, and I'm not going to lie, when you look at it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is going to hurt. It really doesn't hurt that much. Um, it doesn't matter how you position it, like this isn't up or anything like that. It makes no difference. Um, you just put it essentially where you want it. Let's see right there put it on there you press that's it it stings a little bit kind of like how it does when you get a shot but that's about it doesn't hurt at all um, I mean it might be a little tiny bit sore for a couple hours but that's it um, yeah I kind of just run a finger over it to make sure that all of the edges are down and then you take your scanner, you do one of those. It says, we found a new sensor. Do you want to activate it? Yes. And then they say, scan your new sensor. I scan my new sensor and it tells you, you can use it in 60 minutes for warming it up. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Super, super easy. And then you just throw all of your leftover stuff in the box and throw it all out. So not bad at all, right? very easy to use and it's on there now for two weeks pretty sweet deal so i hope that is helpful um, if you have any questions if you want to know more about anything please feel free to put it in the comments um, i hope you guys have a great day bye